Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome today to Frozen Cortex from Mode 7 Games. This is a pretty cool, it's like a simultaneous turn-based strategy game in set like a, a kind of future sport. It looks really cool. This has actually just come out of early access and I completely missed its early access. But uh, I'm checking it out now because it looks really cool. I've had about two hours with it so far so I'm still not great at it but I have been having so much fun with it, it is amazing. It's one of them games that's kind of like infuriated me but when it all goes right I'm like yes! So yeah, we're going to check it out. So I'll quickly go through the basic things. So th at the minute I believe there's three main modes and two of them are actually like they persistent. So one's the knockout mode which is the one I play the most. So that's uh, a, a sort of league but when every time you lose your match that's it, you are out, you're gone. Then there's the actual league where you're obviously playing for position kind of thing, so you can you can still afford to lose, but you slowly earn money to buy new players that have got better stats, all that kind of stuff. And then there's a randomised league, which again is another league, but it completely randomises all the teams and everything, which is still pretty cool. So we'll go for the knockout mode, because I think it's the best. Okay, now we can pick from two different modes currently, so the standard which beats the hell out of me, so I won't be playing that. Easy, which is the one I'm still kind of learning on, so I'll probably just be playing that, but you'll have to forgive me, the fact that it is easy. And then there's several other modes that you unlock after you finish standard, so it's kind of cool, you've got to slowly unlock things and there's harder modes and things like that. So that's pretty cool for the longevity of the game anyway. So we'll start a new knockout. Right, so we've started our league, I've made our little team, which is Lugs Loons, because that's the team name I always use. And here's the rest of the roster that we're going to be going against. So we're going to jump until we get our first match. So usually you'll get a little call off whoever your opponent is. It'll just give you a little bit of... Usually just talk crap to you most of the time. But we'll jump straight into the game. Okay, and we've hit the start of the match. So these are the commentators sitting outside. There's about th I think there's three commentators. So they'll slowly start to introduce themselves so you can sit and look through that if you wish. We'll try and get straight into the main part of the game though. So this is the first part of our planning phase. So I am blue team, of course. And we have got to try and score in our actual blue area. So blue has to go to blue, green has to go to green. And we can now start planning different types of moves. So because this is fairly random, oh no, so we actually get fairly good stats at the start and theirs is pretty awful, so it should be a fairly easy win for us, but again, I am playing on easy. So we know the ball's going to be here, so because I'm technically attacking this time, so I'm pushing forward, this is more designed for them to try and, well, it's more, I kind of say me attacking, but technically this is them attacking, because you kind of attack towards the bottom. So they're more, they always get a player that's closer, so they're going to get the ball and then bring it back. But obviously that means that they're then going to go through us. So they're kind of attacking, but I'm pushing forward. So you, you're both technically attacking, but it's just that one gets a slight advantage at the start, but not really. It's kind of it's difficult to explain, but it kind of makes sense. So we can now go through very, very basic planning. So if we take Wayne here, I can set this up in many ways. So you can... Right click and say I want to go. I want you to run here. Then I want you to run here and here and here and here. Like it wouldn't make any sense. Then I could show what would happen if I was to play this out. So that would be how it would work. And we already know that he's going to run and pick up the ball. So we can go back to the start. And because I've got him selected, I can take back the waypoints. You can also add wait timers to that as well. So if I click this little clock here and then drag that to the right, and then tell him to go there, and then I was to press play, he'll wait and then run. So it's all different little things that you can do to actually plan this. If he has the ball as well, an arrow will come up and you can throw it, which again, I will show the pass and stuff in a minute. So, right now, we know that he's going to run and get the ball. As soon as he picks up the ball, that will go into the next planning phase, because an event's happened. So, we want to be probably making this guy run up towards this way, in fact, to kind of stop him coming back down here. This guy's pretty fast, so I may actually even make him try and run for the ball and maybe... He probably won't beat him, but he can at least try. If nothing else, he'll make a nice tackle zone afterwards. Uh, we probably want him to run to about there. So that way we've got three guys all set up in fairly fairly nice ways. Once you've put down a basic waypoint, you can then left click and drag it around if you want to. And it'll also show sight lines to it, so you can make up good like blocks and things like... So you can try and intercept the ball if you was to throw it. Speaking of throwing, they can only throw over the lower sections of the map so you've got to have a bit of map awareness with certain things but as I said I'll be able to show more of this as we get further into it for now I'm just going to set up some basic kind of plays so once he's got the ball he's going to be wanting to bring it back down here so we're going to want to be keeping at least a couple of our players back down here 
to defend if any of this does actually make it through. So if we were to briefly do that, that's roughly where all my characters are going to end up once they're finished, but it won't actually end like that. Because more than likely he'll get the ball before I get any of these half finished. So we can now go into prime mode and it'll now animate the game. So you can see what happens in a bit more action, which is where the simultaneous turns will happen at the exact same time. So you can see that right now. System prime. So here we go. Right, so we already know he's got the ball, so that's the first major event. So now it's done a pause. Now, when you first pick up the ball, you have an option. You can either throw the ball or you can run with it. But if you run with it, you then can't pass it. So you've got to make an instant choice. So he has to either pass or he has to throw. Now, I've got a guy who's running for him who's planning to basically take him down. Now, we already know that's going to happen. If we were to get this guy to run... See, now we know he can't throw the ball here. So he has to throw it that way, like that. So if we were to run a guy here, we're more likely that we're going to stop him. And obviously this guy is just going to be standing here, waiting as well. Now, we've already got this guy standing right in the way. And we're going to have another guy run just a little bit further over, just in case. I think that's pretty much all that, that I kind of needed down. Now, as long as one of my guys isn't moving, I mean, the tackle zones are a bit bigger, but these smaller highlight areas, if someone runs through and you're standing still, you can just literally punch them in the face and knock them over, which hopefully you'll get to see. System Prime. So, we actually tackled him, but he managed to throw the ball first, but we actually got the intercept. So we've jumped and caught that. Now, this is where the fun happens, because he's right next to me and he's probably going to grab me instantly. So if I was to throw this ball, let's right, that's the only sight line that I can throw it on, so say if I was to do that and then get my guy to run there, just a basic plan, I may just have enough time to do it, because this guy's now stunned, as you can see, so he's not really going to be doing all that much. Uh, so we could probably get this guy to maybe run. Uh, I may actually just get him to run, stand next to him, just in case he does actually manage to tackle me somehow. Not too close though. We've still got him blocked and he's going to be there. So that's again probably fine for us to go ahead and if all being well, this will go into the... So you can throw the ball just into the goal area. It's not a problem. You can then run... As long as someone runs and picks it up or has it in the hand when it's in this area, that'll, it, it'll be a goal or score, whichever one you want to say. So here we go again. Okay, so I managed to get the pass off, so we know exactly where it's going to land. This gives basically the opposition one last time to try and plan anything that could possibly intercept me. So they know this guy is running to try and catch it. So they've got to try and get a player up there. It's probably not going to happen, but it's their last ditch effort that they get a chance to. So there's no need for me really here to plan anything. As long as I was to play this now, we already know it's probably going to hit the floor, and then I'm going to run and pick it up, and that's going to be the end. Because this guy should still be stunned, so it won't be a problem. System prize. I think I just somehow managed to skip it. Well, that's clever. I think I just accidentally double clicked. There we go. Can we actually go back and watch that again? I think you can watch the entire thing. So, there you go. We went back to there. And we threw, and we caught it. And that was a goal. So that was it. So that's how the whole play went down, which is pretty cool. I like being able to go back and watch the whole thing. But sadly, you didn't get to see the proper animation for when we score, because usually they do a little dance or something. But there you go. Right, so we're going to go on to the next play now. So now it's swapped. So now it's me in the positions that the last player was in. So, again, we already know that I'm going to be running to pick up the ball. That's going to be the main thing to do. Now, I need to be setting up, obviously, people to defend me. And I also need people to score. So, like this guy, we know that they're probably going to charge me from here. So we're going to want this guy to run forward, but then immediately stop. So as this guy runs up, he should turn around and kick him in the face. Now, we know this guy's an issue, but we're not necessarily going to be throwing to him. So what we want to be doing is we still want one running down here just in case. 
but we also want guys running to here and to here so we want to get a few guys this end I'm gonna try not to have too many defenders which could prove wrong but all being well it should do for so he should hit this point before I pick up the ball which means he's then ready to actually defend which means if this guy was to then run there he'll turn around and kick him on his arse which is the plan System so we'll see how that goes so I already know that I go and pick up the ball they have just skirted around me so there's no actual kicking involved oh it looks like he actually kicked me in fact oh that's an issue right so we know I can only throw down this area here because I can actually quickly show you the pass properly I, I failed to do it before so you get this arrow when you need to pass so but I can't throw it over this main one but I can throw it over the lower ones so I know I can't throw it here because this guy will intercept I can't throw it here because he's just stunned me if I throw it here he can run and pick it up the closest I could get it to another one of my players again would involve it getting picked up by someone else the best thing that I could probably do hmm I have two options now basically I could risk running with the ball but I'm not going to lie that is not going to end well for me because that will just involve my characters running in a straight line which means he could intercept he could probably intercept due to the distance he could probably intercept and so it's not really the best bet for me but I haven't really got many other options um, right now I think the best thing to do is maybe throw it into a place that they might get it but have someone set up to tackle them or intercept virtually immediately so let's say we were to throw the ball here and have this guy run here now we know this guy's probably going to run over and grab it first but the point is is that if he grabs it I've still got two guys immediately blocking him or at least that's my theory and I want you to run over a little bit further as well you can keep going over here because I want you as a last chance so okay let's just go with this let's risk it okay now surprisingly we actually got away with that they went to go round so that has actually worked out really well now again I have another chance here I can risk the throw to him but if he guesses it he will intercept I could throw the ball to this guy who's a little bit more open and then he's got more options or again I can go for the run I think I'm gonna go with the throwing to this guy who's then more open and we'll get this guy to run maybe a bit further that way and this guy to run a bit further that way and we're just gonna try and trick him a little bit System Prime. Oh, and we'll have this guy run to like there so that he can help tackle them if they do System cause any problems. Prime. Okay, so now they've pushed towards him. Now, again, if I throw it towards him, there's a good chance he'll intercept and same that way. There is nothing stopping me throwing back to this guy absolutely nothing stopping me there at all because if I throw it here I'm pretty much 100% he will intercept it I can just guarantee it uh, right we want you to run towards here we want you to run towards there uh, about, about there I think uh, should I maybe send him further over ok we'll, go, we'll try this again System Prime. oh we have got away with it we got away with it, he went the wrong way. So it actually worked out. So there was pretty much nothing they can do as far as I can tell. If we play this out, he's just gonna catch it, so this should be fine. System prime. Uh, 
So he was actually still in the movement going forward. So there we go. We've caught it. And that's another goal to us. Which is pretty awesome. So if you want to go back and watch that whole play again, we can do that. So we ran. We got the ball. There was where my guy got punched in the face. Luckily he recovered pretty quick. We managed to get another pass to there. Pass to there. And then for the finish. So we got a nice little pass in play. And we're, we're doing pretty well. So now it'll go back to how it was in the first round. So there's only three turns in left until the end of the game or overtime. So there's only a little bit more of the match. Usually the average match seems to be about three drives and then you're pretty much done. So... We're probably going to end up doing pretty much what we did last time, honestly. So, this guy's going to run towards the ball. This guy's going to run to about... Probably actually about where this guy's standing. And you're going to run to roughly there. You're going to run across here. And you're going to run down here. System that should be That should be fine. Okay, so he's got the pickup. I've got the guy going in once again for the tackle. He's already set up with a nice tackle zone. And he's about to be in play to intercept. Now, because he's there, which is a perfect tackle zone, I'm actually going to move this guy over. So I'm going to move him to about there again. So there should be no chance of him throwing the ball straight down now. Now, we'll move you across again. And I'll probably move you a little bit that way as well. Only a little bit though. We don't want to. Because he can't throw the ball in more than that. So. He might try for just the throw and hope to grab, possibly. So we'll put him like there. Sure, that looks fine to me. And he just got punched because he tried to go for a run and we had too many tackle zones. So he is now down and the ball is in my hands. Now, of course, because I'm right here and he's stunned, I am probably just going to... You know what? Because I can, and no one's going to intercept that, we're going to go for another run. So that will now just go perfect. So yeah, there's that should be that, as far as I can tell. Because he can't do anything because we just uppercutted him. So he's going for the run. Oh, it's just it's one anyway, even though I was going to get another score, which is a shame, but that's the end of the match. I was hoping to get overtime since the ball was still in play, but sure. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is a brief look at Frozen Cortex. It is pretty cool. I will also just say, as a side note, if you buy any of the editions that are currently on Steam, you get an extra copy to give away for a friend, which is really cool. I think they get here it's about, I think off the top of my head, I think it's £15 for the basic game. So you get two copies of it for £15. So whatever your regional equivalent is, that's what it'll work out with. So that's pretty cool. And uh, as I say, I've been having a great deal of fun with it. And I intend to carry on playing it as well because I, I am really enjoying it. Because I am determined to get to the point where I can do standard and maybe even further. But right now, easy is just enough for me. As you can see, easy is very easy. But occasionally I do make some really silly mistakes. Um, but standard beats me like 90% of the time. I occasionally manage to get lucky, but it's rare. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, all the usual stuff, likes, comments, and all that kind of stuff. But I'll leave a link in the description for the Steam page. And uh, there'll also be a few other probably links down there that if you want to check out any more information about the game. So yeah, please do go and check out the game if you're interested. It's very cool. So hopefully this was helpful to you anyway. And hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.